Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, the 13th morning. Oh, when you wake up to a day like today, wow, you can't help but smile and think, life is good. So let's crack on and do what I'm doing today. I've got a vague idea, I think, but uh, I need to get showered, cleaned, had me breakfast. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're just going to head into downtown Malaga. Oh, yes. So today's vague plan is to uh, go for a little walk around at the uh, city centre and grab some lunch. I'll probably head back to the apartment for some lunch. And, uh, and then get over to the uh, Marathon Expo, pick up bib and all that jazz. So that's the vague plan. Let's go. Whilst I'm here at the uh, port side, obviously Malaga being a very uh, popular port, there's a number of cruise ships in this morning. So there's one there and there's one there. <laughs> yeah, quite big. So I'm guessing there's going to be a a surge of tourists in uh, downtown Malaga today. <laughs> I thought I'd stop here as the flag, the Spanish flag, is flying in all its majestic with the wind and the building just there. My understanding this is the main municipal building, the government building of Malaga. Yeah. Looks great, doesn't it? Onwards to our walk. Now whilst I'm waiting here to cross the road, it's actually giving me a countdown of how long that red light's going to last, yeah? But as well as going for a walk around the town, you might see along here there's horse and carriages, so you can go on a nice romantic little horse and carriage way with your partner, family, friends, or <coughs> As right now, I'm Billy No Mate. I'm not going on this. No. <laughs> I'm just going for a walk. I'll show you this little countdown here. I don't know if you can see it, but there it's countdown. Little green man and the seconds left to cross the road. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I call well organised, eh? Just in case you didn't catch that one over there, I thought I'd film this one here, but I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's counting down. Little green man walking and how many seconds left? for you to cross the road as well as going for a walk just like in the UK you can get on these hop on hop off sightseeing buses this will take you all the way around Malaga but I'm going to be walking no hop on it hop on if today so guys I'm just having a little walk I just catched up with my free walk tour and I see three people here all kitted out and I thought these guys are all doing the uh, Malaga Marathon. Say hello everyone! Hello! hello. <laughs> so this man's from Colombia, Chile, Norway and I'm from Britain. We are truly global, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So they're doing a little running tour around Malaga? A running tour in Malaga, only five kilometers. Only to, five kilometers? Yeah, Still yes, a long way. Only, yes, because the Sunday must run yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot of kilometers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, great meeting you guys. Have a great time and see you Sunday. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> so how random was that, eh? So uh, I was chatting with the, the three of them and one of them is on the, the Instagram, as they all are, Malaga Tour Running. So they do tour running tours around Malaga how about that eh? anyway I'm going on a walking tour because I think I've uh, done enough uh, or I'm going to be doing enough running over this weekend but anyway yeah how cool is that eh? So over there guys, I've uh, booked on as a, uh, as I mentioned, I'm going on a walk around the city centre, but I thought I'd need some help. So I'm with the um, free tour, there's an Explore Malaga free tour group there, you might see some of them there. All convenient. We start at 11, it's about a two hour walk, and I'm going to take you on this walk, yeah, with a proper local Malaga tour guide. Ahí, un poquito de calor. Clásico, ¿no? Clásico. 
So we're just getting ready to start the tour. Let's go. Not much, okay, so, just trust me, I am the tour guide, eh? trust me, I am a tour guide. What else are you supposed to do? Why to Laris Street, thank you very much, vámonos. No, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, And yet, I said, finish. I finished. What's going on with this guy? Follow me, we have a lot more to see today. Thank you very much. The bells chime in is of the cathedral behind me here. Yeah, this is the Malaga Cathedral. And right here, would you believe, is the original site of the mosque. As you may know, most of Spain was. Um, was it the Moors that were here from uh, North Africa that occupied Spain for many hundreds of years? Yeah, really interesting, a really nice stamp, cathedral and mosque together. If you happen to know some Photoshop, please remove here. So the tour guide's just been telling us that the most famous guy here from Malaga is Pablo Picasso. It's Pablo Picasso, you know that, that painting chap. This is uh, where he used to work. On the balcony up there, he used to, his dad was a painter as well. And he used to watch his dad painting down here from that balcony up there. And they also touched on another famous guy from uh, Malaga. Hollywood actor and uh, Antonio Banderas. Yeah, Antonio Banderas is from Malaga as well. So here's the... Um, Thing. And uh, as you can see, there's a bit of humour here with the uh, skeletons dressed in uh, Christmas outfits. You want to have a closer look? Here you go. <laughs> That's what happens if uh, you wait for your food too long anyway. So, uh, <laughs> so up here, up there, that uh, balcony there is where he used to paint and do his stuff. Looking down on the square here, we continue with the tour. <laughs> Excitingness, isn't it? Pablo Picasso, yeah. I'm uh, excited about Picasso and how in Malaga is the place where you will hear five years old, pretty much, eh? 55. Ah, but you're Picasso. <laughs> A winery, a wine cellar, perfect place to try Malaga flavor. In Malaga there are two. So when in Malaga, you got to try Malaga ice cream, and there is actually a flavor called Malaga. Yeah. And here we have our Dutch friends. Three, three guys here from Holland. Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello. Sweet yeah. wine. Sweet wine. <laughs> and raisins. <laughs> and raisins. No, 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 so uh, no, no, as you do, I, we're all on the same tour, so we're going to try some of the local ice cream. And uh, this oh, chap here looks very happy serving us all with that yummy, <laughs> yummy ice cream. Uh, See? No, he obviously yeah, understands yeah. English, which is really good. No, that's fine. <laughs> so as I'm holding the camera in one hand, I got my ice cream in the other hand. This is, mm. oh, this is so yummy. Yum, 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 yummy. Right, I'm going to carry on and use my two hands to eat this. Later. So, ice cream finished, and I'm just outside the Malaga FC football club, soccer club. Yeah. Mm. That was so scrubby yummy. <laughs> Look at this. Roman amphitheatre. 
And then you've got the castle at the top. So as you're saying, two millennium differences. If you are wondering wow Alejandro, why for free? I invite you to take a look. <laughs> the price, uh, the ticket of the Alcazaba, is in my opinion quite ridiculous in comparison uh, to Seville, for example, it's also similar. Yes. Oh wow. Oh my god. The speaker, I think. But uh, last recommendation. This history is sometimes something that today can be found, not only found at the supermarket, if you need it, you can take it. It was a real pleasure to enjoy this city, this city and this. What a brilliant tour that was. I would highly recommend it. Yeah, free tour. Obviously, I gave him a little tip for uh, being so good and helpful. 11 o'clock every morning in the uh, square that we started. And uh, absolutely brilliant. Here I am here. This is the uh, Malaga Museum, which apparently, if you're a European citizen, it's free to get in. You have to pay. I think it's only one euro. But I'm off now to grab some lunch. Pizza, pasta. Oh, I'm so hungry. It's way past my lunchtime. Let's go. So I'll be with some of the tour guys and we're going into the Mercado Municipal, which is the, uh, the market, yeah. Okay. So uh, we're gonna have a wander around the market and get some food. So found an utterly delightful restaurant here. The fire is on, although I'm really warm, but it's warm and it's a pleasant morning. You know, got on the guitar, if you can hear in the background, playing Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. So here I am with tomato soup and bread, as you do. Of course guys, as I'm carving up, <laughs> spaghetti, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So that was an absolutely gorgeous meal, all et watered. Now back on the seafront and going to uh, head back. So I think that's it for the moment. And then later head over to the expo. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, get ready. Right, here we go. Oh. oh yes, there you go guys. Um, whilst I've been, if you've seen my videos when I was in Poland, uh, Rich was using Ubers. That's the first time I have personally used an Uber. Myself, yeah, me, myself, hi, there you go. So I've arrived at destination. Let's see, show you where I am. On this side here it says Estadio Cuidad de Malaga. So you might see when I was driving by there's this massive stadium that's that one over there on my right uh, on my left i've got this sign so if you can see this it says 2020 malaga european capital of sport oh yes and i've arrived at the i'll try and pronounce this correctly palacio de teportes jose maria martin carpena there you go did i pronounce that correctly I'm going to go in. Let's take you inside to the Malaga Marathon Expo. Yeah. So I've just come into the hall following signs of the sponsors. So I'm going to check my number and then head into the expo. Ah. Best if I looked at the marathon rather than the half marathon big numbers. As you can imagine, being in Spain, Europe, there's one or two Donatos here, but there is only one Donato with my surname, and I'm number 186. Wow, that's the lowest number I've ever had, number 186. So does that mean I need to come into the top 100? Anyway, let's get in the hall. Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> We're in! Whoa. 
So here we've got all the bib numbers all the way along the line. So I'm going to go to number 12599 because I'm number 186 and pick my uh, number. <laughs> here you go, number 186. Um, yeah, look at my bib number. Oh, it's tremendously exciting. So I'm going to have a wander around. Let's show you some of the uh, stalls that are here. So guys, yeah, like uh, a lot of the marathons, they all have an expo. This one is sizably smaller than any of the marathon majors, but then it's still great in its own way. It's got all the usual stands here. Similar to what you would have seen when I was at the uh, Gdansk Half Marathon. Medal hangers, get your medals engraved. Nutrition, sports, socks, compression. Looks like there's people doing haircuts here. Don't know why they'd want a haircut for a race, but anyway. And then you got your physio bits here. And then you've got all sorts going on here and people waving who want to get on my camera, but I'm not turning my camera that way. <laughs> um, fruity, all sorts of goodies here, there, everywhere. And uh, yeah. Oh, there's so much. I could film here forever and ever and ever. And then you've got some bright. Here's your pink bull, or is it lilac bull? Who knows? Anyway, let's go through this way, through the middle. And it looks like there's some virtual reality goggles. The main sponsors here are Zurich, which is a insurance company. Here is Zurich. And they've got various signs here. I've got to catch this for you because um, don't know if you can read that. Imparables. Here's your get your photo done. All the usual stuff. And there's a virtual reality guy. And then there's more stuff here. I, I'm very impressed with this actually, considering it's not an expo. And then you've got to get your photo done there with your bib. Yeah. Whatever it may be. Very impressed. I've got to say, the shirt I've seen inside does look good. I haven't got it out yet, but I will be getting it out. Oh, my word, look who's here. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? doing? Yeah. This hey, man here, you, you, Sonny. You're running this race? Well, I am. Mr. Guru, <laughs> good to see you. And the devil are you? Yeah. This yeah. isn't this isn't being loaded, by the way. It's going to be Mr. Guru. We do follow each other on Instagram. Yeah. You live in Holland, is that right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. You're this looking forward to this? Like you to meet my wife. Hi, nice Michaela. to meet you, wife. Yeah. What's your name? Michaela. Michaela. Nice to meet you, Michaela. Yeah, Sunny. Yeah, so you're looking forward to this? Yeah, yeah I'm really looking forward. Yeah. This man, this is I've we're, we're live, for a while. We're live, oh, we're live, live right? Okay, well, hi. not live, live, but it's recorded live. Yeah. But, uh, Impromptu. You do marathons all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done this one before? No, never. No? Never been to you're literally going around and trying to do every one all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you see you do one. Was it Key Largo, Florida? Yeah, like a month ago. The end of the world. Yeah, okay. we're together. Yeah, we're going to the Philippines in January. <laughs> yeah. And in Taiwan in January. Yeah. Now Malaga. So tell everyone what's your Instagram name? Uh, Mr. Marathon. Mr. Marathon. <laughs> Mr. Marathon. Hey. Eh? <laughs> We've seen it. Hey. Eh? Thank you so much. So everyone's going up here for the photos. I've got my freebies. Just to look up here is the map. Can you see the map? This is the map of the marathon route. And it's 42.195 kilometers. Imparables is the hashtag. Yeah, freebies in hand. So I've got a uh, hand clapper and the uh, balloon that you inflate. Hey, hey. How about that guy? From just whilst I'm randomly filming, um, one of the guys who follows me on Instagram, Mr. Marathon, look him up on Instagram. Mr. Marathon from Holland. Here. <laughs> what a small world, eh? Could have a free sweets, yeah. So we've got a board here where people can leave their messages on. Obviously there's people here advertising other races. So I look along the line, you've got the Marathon de Sevilla, Castellón, Oporto, Ravenna, which is in Italy, and then Sevilla. Oh, they're all here. So you can sign up to however many marathons you want to sign up to. 
and keep the journey going. You can't go to an expo without having loads of merchandise and clothes to be buying for the actual marathon. <laughs> Travelling light here, I've got no room for this stuff so uh, I don't even know where I'll fit my goodie bag into my bag. So there you have it guys. Expo complete, let's get out and catch the cab. Catch that cab, Uber, back home. Let's go. Well, I say home, back to the flat here in uh, Malaga. Which as we know from the walking tour is the city of salt. Uber done. So that's it for today. Um, yeah, <laughs> I got this beautiful view for this evening. The sun is setting, the sea is blue. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yes, indeed, my folks. Hope you enjoyed today. Today was Friday the 13th, apparently. So uh, lots of good luck. Anyway, that's it for now. Till I see you next. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. The sun is rising. I don't know how this looks on here, but let me move the camera to catch that for you. Beautiful, eh? What a way to start the day. So uh, I'm just going to go out and do a nice little short run. Get things moving. Ready for tomorrow, the big day. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you think I sound a bit croaky, that's because I am. Mm, it's all throw. Oh dear. So, shake out run complete. Just, it's about what, 8k. Nice and easy and a few little strides. Uh, now it's breakfast time, hydrate and all that jazz. And boy, it's hot out there. And uh, it's already, what, 18 degrees. It's going to be about the same tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, a hot one. So as you do on the day before a uh, marathon, you uh, get some raising and hydrate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I mention when I was out this morning on the uh, morning run, there were literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other runners out, all getting ready for tomorrow. Sight to see. A bit like this. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, although, I'm beginning to feel that the sun is cooking me already. It's uh, well, mid-afternoon, so maybe I'll get back inside. So that was a very brief Saturday. You've not seen much because I haven't done much yet. Basically, I just went out after my morning run, just went and checked out where the start area is. It's about 10, 15 minute walk from here, 20 minute walk, depending on which way I go. I think I'll work that out. Watch a bit of Spanish TV, obviously today, but mainly rest, I always recommend rest. I've now got my kit ready, bib pinned on, everything's ready for tomorrow morning. So it's coming to evening time here, the sun is setting, so I'm gonna bid you good night and see you race day morning, Sunday, 15th of December. Oh yeah! Good morning folks, it's Sunday the 15th of December, as you might hear the kettle is boiling. I'm just going to get my uh, breakfast before race day. All I have race day is literally one bagel, a cup of tea, and today it'll be three gingers, yes, three gingers. And uh, as it's forecast, uh, quite a hot day today, I'm going to have some uh, hydration. A little hydration tab in water uh, just to uh, make sure I'm fully hydrated before the race. So let's let's get to it. It's Sunday, it's race day. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, I'm all changed and ready to go. So the next you'll see of me is when I get back from the race, as you can see outside here. It's still dark, sunrise is about 20 past 8 in the morning and it's only uh, 7.30 at the moment. So I'm just going to get out there, take my trusty GoPro. Yeah, this will be the first time I'll be filming the race on a GoPro Hero 8. So uh, 
<laughs> let's see how that goes. I don't know how much I'll be filming, but I'm sure there'll be a link up there somewhere pointing you to the race, which I'm really looking forward to. And it's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be a hot day, so we'll see what happens. See you on the other side, yeah. <laughs> Oh yes guys, marathon complete, the Malaga Marathon. You'll have to click on the link up there to watch the actual race, which is a Christmas present to all you guys. Um, having said that, I think <laughs> I'll be publishing this before you see the race. See, you're gonna have to wait for your special Christmas present. Um, but yeah, what, what a race. Yeah, it was hot out there, but I, I, it felt good all the way again. Um, but watch the race, watch the race and see what the outcome is. Beautiful medal, I do love this and uh, I very much enjoyed it. So as it's beautiful out there, I think it's about 19, 20 degrees Celsius, clear blue skies, no wind, I'm going to eat some food, get changed and then probably go in the sea. Laters. So I'm heading down to the beach and I've already passed the first test after a marathon and that is I was able to walk down the stairs without any great pain. <laughs> yeah, I know. Small achievement, eh? Right, let's get down on into the sea. So as you do, as you do, walking past the sign, let's see, oh, fast. It looks quite spectacular. I've, all I need really is the standard British knotted hanky on the top of my got me uh, trainers off as I said I have been traveling light because it is my only set of trainers so we're going to step into the Mediterranean Sea yeah and this will be test number two Sienna feet feel with all this lovely luscious salty water I don't know if it's going to be warm cold but hey here we go <laughs> oh my word, this feels fresh, very, very fresh. <laughs> Actually, the feet feel good, feet feel good. So yeah, here I am in the sea. And of course, the sun has decided to go in a little now. It's a bit cloudy, but this is just magical, isn't it? Hope you're enjoying this. Oh. Uh, half as much as I'm enjoying being on here. It's absolutely fabulous. Right, that's me done. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry again, I need some more food. I did have a, a, a little lunch or whatever, but now I'm, the hunger's really kicking in. So uh, let's get some of that food in. Uh, well, I did want to try some of the local delicacies, but uh, every restaurant was packed out and I don't want to be walking forever and ever because of my feet are beginning to ache, so I've popped into, and this place is pretty full as well, <laughs> yeah, Indian restaurant, well, it's got to be done, isn't it, yep. I have no idea what this beer is, but it says Edición de Mitana, which is obviously limited edition, Cruz Campo, any of you guys ever tried this before? Anyway, it tastes really good. I'm sure it'll go down really well with my corn eye. I was so hungry I forgot to take a picture. I think I might post a picture, a still picture I took of the food, didn't video it. But anyway, yeah, I was so hungry, all gone. Nothing left, nada, nada, nada. Yum, yum. So after that meal, I was thinking of doing some bit of tourism, but I'm absolutely shot to pieces. So I'm just <laughs> gonna go back to my apartment and probably go to sleep. <laughs> See you tomorrow guys.